With billionaires taking over football, even at the lower levels, you think of Wrexham, South End's new owners, and with teams crumbling down the pyramid due to lack of financial ownership, the likes of Barnsley, you got Bolton, Reading, Blackpool, just to name a few. What would happen is it if you took a millionaire slash billionaire celebrity, put them in charge of a level 13 amateur club. Could they make the Premier League in 20 years? And could they win silverware along the way? Well, that's what this series is about. Strap in. I'm about to become manager of a level 13 club. And we've just been taken over by a massive celebrity. This should be interesting. So here we are. We are the new manager of the Annie Road, and here is what our finances are looking like. We are starting with a ten million pounds in the bank, but the stipulation is that no other investment will come into this team until we reach the National League. Yeah, National League. Yeah, that's the one right below the English um, pyramid, the top four leagues. So we are reached the National League, not National League North South, the National League, the main league of non-league, in order to basically have any more money coming in. However, let's see if we can see it. We do have an individual TV deal, a main kit sponsor, and I don't know why it hasn't pulled through, but I don't We'll check it now. For some reason. For some reason, the other one has not pulled through. But it's fine. There's a £100,000... I've had to put down as unknown. But it's for social media. Because we're going to be all over that. So with our social media budget, that is what we are doing. But we get 33 grand from this over nine years for 300 grand. You know, Netflix, Amazon. They wanted to make a big documentary about this. And as you can see, <laughs> at this level, nothing really changes. But what I am going to do early on is just look at the squad now. They're all grayed out. Of course, you are because at this level, you don't really have many, many players. So there's no match day rules. We're going to fill the squad with some players. We're going to bring in some youth prospects. And we're just going to have a great time. I'm just going to play through this and come back for our first two league games. There's no transfer window to worry about. So I'll speak to you very soon. So here we are for the first game of the season. As you can see, a lot of the team has changed. Because we're amateur, we don't pay anyone anything. So we can just bring in people. We have filled up our um, staff as well. We've brought two, two coaches, an assistant manager. None of them that good in truth. But we're at level 13. You just got to do with what you have. Only allowed five subs on the bench. Not going to really need a goalkeeper, I don't think so. We will put a spare striker on the bench. Is that a small thing to do? I think it's a small thing to do. So this is the team. Dane Smith, who is five foot nine. Isn't the tallest cookie in the jar, old Dane Smith. We have Marcel Pep. I think he was one of the ones that was here right at the beginning. Jake Picton. 32, loads of older players, really. Alex McCade, 30. We have Cockle, not Cockleton, Conkleton, 32. We have Oscar Neal. He is one of the younger people in the team at 23, Oscar O'Neill. And we can just we'll make him a Mazzola on attack. We'll make him a ball-winning midfielder on support. We'll make him a ball winning midfielder on support. So then we'll actually change him to a box to box. Definitely don't want that. And then what are these? Uh, we'll, we'll go inside forward and inside forward, I think. So that is the team going in into a Ginty up front 32. 
five for eight, natural fitness, no real pace. I'm not allowing a poacher in this team. So I don't really know how the team's going to perform. You know, we thing is at this level, it's hard to spend the money. And we have 10 million in the bank, but we're an amateur team. So until we move up to the next level, which I think is Division 12, there isn't going to be much in the way of spending 30 games in a season as well. So we'll just have to wait and see what my worry is. Dane Smith definitely being five foot nine. Can he reach the crossbar? That is the true challenge here. But we're on the ball now. McCade to... It's now with O'Neill. Over to Hallam. Hallam puts in and Ginty is there. Scott Ginty does score the first goal under the new Premiership. And we are off and running. Decent goal, but really, what, what do you expect at this level? He just gives up on the ball. He goes for the header. He misses the header and that is it. Why he's trying to header it there. See the ball come across. He's had that thought. I know I can reach that. Forgetting he's not that tall. And he has missed it. And just like that, we are 1-0 up. 1-0. Ball in. Ball back out again. Clark now to pace, pace shoot. Pat, I, I don't know what is going on. Hallam. Hallam to Bannister. Bannister. To O'Neill, O'Neill shoots, but it's over the bar. Now, how many people are actually watching this game? We have 50 people watching this game. 50 people have turned up to watch this, which is ridiculous at this level, I think. But, yeah, I, I didn't even check to see who was favourite, anything like that. Ball over the top. In fact, we could do that right now. Let's just come up with this match. Let's look at the league table. And let's just see the season preview. So, we're favourites to finish at rock bottom. Uh, and the team that we're playing... I don't know which team it is that we're playing. Um, what team are we playing? FC, um, a mid-table mid team. So, this is a real interesting matchup and they're through Steven shoots Steven's puts it over the bar and we've got very very lucky there ball into the box Dane Smith gets there five foot nine but he has certainly got there and it's now once again ball into the box ball out again Pep is there I wasn't even paying attention I wasn't paying it what a shot at this level, that is a phenomenal shot. I wasn't even paying attention. I thought we cleared it. Williams, Bedling. Oh, it's just phenomenal for this level. And just like that, we are one all. Annoying, very annoying indeed. But hey, I will continue anyway. Really, first few games, we just got to test out, see who works, see who doesn't. And go from there, really. Uh, it's now Lowey to Williams to Stevens to... Oh, and we're pushing our luck. We are definitely, definitely pushing our luck here. So we are going to make a change, I think. Do we have a defender on the bench? We do. So we're going to take off our one defender that is on a yellow card. Because I don't really want to lose a defender. Smith now with the large boot up. It's not brought down. We don't really have any tall boys up front. And we could be missing that. And Pap absolutely misses the ball there. Clark, it's back now with Smith. What will Smith do with it? Smith punts it up. And O'Neill's trying to run through. Not the quickest. Not the quickest. And we can't really deal with it that well. We're not... It's, it's not fluid, shall we say. This, it, this definitely isn't poetry in motion. O'Neill shoots, and O'Neill, Oscar O'Neill, it's off the bar. What a strike. 25, 30, maybe even 30 yards out here. And I was just saying, we aren't playing that brilliantly, but my God, O'Neill just takes it one touch and then just has the audacity to try and scoop the ball into the back of the net. Goalkeeper does not know what to do. We'll make the tactical change nonetheless. But just like that, having much possession. And I would have thought that this 4-3-3 would give us a little bit more possession in the midfield. Pace. Now it's out to Halam. Halam is going to have a run. 
He's going to keep running. No, he passes it back. It's now with Bannister. Pace. Pace, he shoots. It's off the post. It's a penalty. Sure, that's a penalty. No, no, no penalty given. But we're okay. We're in control. Pap, O'Neill. Come on now. Clark. Back to Pap. To Pace. Pace. Taking the pace out of the game. That's what he's doing now. Picton. Ball over. Halam. Halam. He shoots. Alex Halam. Jake Picton. Great pick out from Jake Picton. Our defence. Centre defence. Uh, I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say central defensive midfielder, which he's not. He is a central defender with a great diagonal ball, and Halam just puts it into the back of the net. Else, 85 minutes. Hibbert to O'Neill. O'Neill, back to Pace. Pace puts it in. Can Halam get there? Yes, he can. And that, that was Jordan Pickford-esque, that goalkeeping, wasn't it? Little arms. He's reached out to get the ball. Forgot he's only got little arms and it's hit his arm and just bounced in. It's classic amateur goalkeeping. Halam, ball, yeah. Classic, classic goalkeeping there at this level. Obviously, it's just a fat kid that's been putting goal at this point. That's all we can say. He's like, our goalkeeper's the short one. He has no other use any other part of the pitch. So he's just flung in net. That is what's going on here. And now it's more, more. That's what we would love. And can we get another one? Ball in. O'Neill's there. Good save. The rebound, though. Oscar O'Neill with the second in that Mazzola roll. 86 minutes gone. This game is now over. They are not coming back. We don't need, need to watch the replay of that. They are not coming back from this. And our goal difference is looking rather tasty right now. One game, but did I hear top of the league? Because that's where we are. We'll be back with the second game of the episode. So here we are back for the next match. And we've made a few more signings. As you can see, Marlon B is now our starting striker. And he doesn't really want to be a striker. But I've kind of just said to him, no, you, you, you are a striker. That is what you are now, Marlon. You are a striker for this club. So we brought in Marlon and... I don't think anyone else has made the team. Although we do have just loads of different people. There's people are coming in every day, folks. And I don't know who to anymore. But we're just trying to bring in as many different people as we can. Just to make sure that we are fully covered. So, this is the team. Familiarise yourself with it. Probably won't probably be the last time you see this team all together. Our first home match against Edge Hill BCOB. Let's see how we do. Because another win here sets us up perfectly for the season. But I'd say every game is literally different from the last. A different team. Players come, players go. Amateur contracts. Anyone can be taken at any time from us. But one thing I do realise is that the lighting in here is, is awful. So I am just going to... Now quickly chuck on some lighting. Brilliant, that's better. Like that. There we go. Now you can see me a little bit better. That might be better for you. It might be worse for you. Who knows? But we are on the attack and is down the side with Conkleton. Halam off the bar. And already we are looking like we are in control. How many people have turned up today? 49 people have turned up. I would take that in the Liverpool Premier League second division. Happily take that. And it's Hyam now Walker. Cock it to Hyam. Hyam. Now he goes in for the tackle there. Give him his, his due. He's gone in, but it amounts to nothing. Walker. Oh, one nil down. Oh, one nil down. Just a ball over the top. Picton and McCade do not have the legs. They do not have the gravy. For this level. And just like that. We are 1-0 down. We definitely probably. Could do with investing in two new centre backs. That have a little bit of pace for this level. But there's still, still a long time to go. You know. So we've just got to hold off. Wait and see. And Edge Hill. Are now above us. We <laughs> drop down to 7th place in the league. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this back to the overview. Let's see. What we're doing, we are very, very high up in comparison to them, which I like. I like to see us do that, and it's carrot to 
Oh, no. Gary Cockett scored. Oh, it's a bad day when Gary Cockett scoring against you. Oh, no. This, 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 this isn't good. That's a ball in. Who is Hibbert? Hibbert's absolutely had a nightmare. Hasn't got anywhere near it. And just like that, we are two goals down. And they have been the better team. There's no arguments there. They, they, they are the better team. We are pushing further up. And I think that might be what is doing us in right now. I don't have any other um, instructions on, really. We'll work the ball into the box. We're standard lines. So we'll just see if that helps us. But we are again destroyed by this 4 4 2. And I'm not happy. <laughs> Terrible shite. You've been shite so far. But. Yeah, this isn't uh this is not finest moment so far. Can we make up for in the second half? Hibbit, Tony O'Neill, back to Hibbit. And I guess I'm hunting too much hoping a guy named Marlon. No one, I mean no one under the age of 40 is named Marlon. You know, and oh uh, God, Walker's, it's a penalty. It's a penalty. Hibbit's going to right pickle there with Picton. Oh, well, look how tall he is in goal. He's five foot nine. He's five foot nine. Old Dean is five foot nine. Look how short he is. Oh, God. It doesn't, it doesn't put fear into the attacker, seeing how big the goal is. Picked in. We've just been absolutely outclassed in this game. Over the top to Ginty, Ginty, it's in only, and Spencer just collects it like it was nothing, and oh dear, that is all I have to say right now, Hibbit to Conkleton to Halam, Halam into the box, can B get there, no he cannot, and B wins it back, O'Neill shoots, we've got one back, 55 minutes, can we... Istanbul comeback time. Istanbul comeback time. That's all I have to say on the matter. Come on, we have to get back into this now. Uh, B does well, O'Neill does well, and the less said about the goalkeeping, the better. I think that is the typical standard of level 13 goalkeeping right there. But we are so much more advanced. But look at this here. Uh, Hotspot is right behind our defensive line. That is an issue. Now that is where one of the hotspots is. You're not seeing any hotspots beneath. You're seeing the hotspots in the middle here. But our big hotspot is behind, which is just not what you want to see, really. But it's 3-1, and I don't see us coming back. I think it's about to get worse in truth here. But is this man disabled? Like, does he have no legs? What is going on with Ryan Hibbert? The man can't run. It says he's got nine pace. He's got nine pace. He's slower than me. Oh, Ryan Hibbert, you have played your last game for us, son. You are not. I am not keeping you. In fact, in fact, let, let's get this right right now, Ryan. You're fired. Like that, on the spot, during the game. I've tore up his contract, and we're going to just bring on someone. He's, I've told him to go down the tunnel. I'm getting shame. You're never playing for this club again. Oh, he's absolutely useless. Just Kilburn, thankfully, is on the pitch. He can't do any worse than what we've just had to witness for the last 80 minutes. Oh, Hibbit. Hibbit, Hibbit, Hibbit. Right to O'Neill, O'Neill, O'Neill shoots. It's it's wide. It's it's wide. It's, it's embarrassing. That's what it is. Shuttleworth, don't don't concede again. Just don't concede again. Beetle, Shuttleworth, and Kilbert. That Hibbit. I'm, I'm pointing at Hibbit. Tell him to come back and look. And that is what you. That's what you do. That's how you defend Hibbit. That is what you need to be doing. Oh, we've been absolutely hammered. <laughs> We've been absolutely hammered. And we full right deserved it too. I'm throwing the water ball. I'm pissed off with everyone. It's not a good look for the team. 
But that is the end of the episode. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go away, play a couple of games. I don't exactly know when I'll come back, but I want to try and get through the lower leagues as quickly as possible. I'm not going to show you, like, all the games or anything like that. So I'll come back probably in four or five games' time and do another episode. Until then, please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you're having a great day, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.